Hello. In this video, we're going to go over how to find the equation of a line in standard form and in slope intercept form given two points. So first we are starting with the points. I prefer to use stack method because we know that the slope of a line when we're solving for A is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now, what I prefer to do is I stack them on one on top of the other and just take the top minus the bottom. That's it. Now, make sure you put your y's on top and then you're good to go. 2 minus 10 over 4 minus 7. We're going to now do some math. 2 minus 10 is negative 8. 4 minus 7 is negative 3. A negative over a negative is a positive. Our slope is 8 over 3. So that will be A. Now for B, they want this, the, the, the equation of the line in standard form. And in standard form, the equation is AX plus BY is equal to C, where there's no fractions for A or B, and A also must be positive. Those are the only like, criteria that we need. So I'm going to put this into point slope form first. So we're going to do, and we're going to take a point. So we're going to take the slope and we're going to take a point. And let's recall that our point slope formula is y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1, where y1 and x1 are a coordinate point on the graph. So this coordinate point is 4 and 2. We're just going to replace them for y1 and x1. So as we continue, y minus 2 is equal to 4, sorry, 8 over 3, m first, 8 over 3, x minus 4. Next, we're going to distribute this guy. y minus 2 is equal to 8 over 3x minus, now this is 4 over 1, and when we multiply fractions, just multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators. 8 times 4 is 32. 3 times 1 is 3. Next, we're going to add 2 to the other side. Actually, you know what will be easier before we even do that is we can treat this as a rational expression and multiply everything by the common denominator to cancel out my denominators. So we'll get rid of those guys, make that nice and easy. Because we know we can't have fractions for my x value in our end product. So let's get rid of it now. So we have 3y minus 6 is equal to 8x minus 32. We're going to move our 8x over. We're going to get negative 8x minus 3y minus 6 equals negative 32. Add your 6 over negative 8x minus 3y, it should be a plus 3y, change that, the sign for 3y should not have changed, negative 8x plus 3y equals to negative 22, and then let's just make this all a little smaller, And then what we're going to do is make sure that our A is positive, multiply everything by a negative one. And there we go. That is our equation in standard form. So that is the answer to B. Next, in slope intercept form, let's just take it from standard form so there's no confusion. We just need it in Y equals MX plus B. So I'll we'll move our 8x over, divide by negative 3, and we have y equals 8 over 3y plus minus 22 over 3. And there you go. That is how you solve that problem. 